Well, I hope you were able to enjoy at least part of this beautiful sunny morning because there are some changes ahead. As we look at our beautiful downtown Toronto. It's just beyond as you're off to the west and north. That's where we have the clouds and they're just uh, well a matter of minutes now before it becomes overcast in the city and then it'll be later today for places like Ottawa in a couple of hours. Montreal still sunny until uh, late afternoon. So this front is progressing but it's to the west that we see that cloud bank that is now moving in. Now there isn't much in the way of rain associated with this front. We have some showers North Bay to Petawawa, also some sprinkles around uh, Grand Bend or yeah, Grand Bend into uh, Stratford, but that's about it. So not anticipating much rain with this, but there will be a wind shift. 19 degrees in Toronto and Kingston, 17 in Peterborough, Ottawa and Montreal. 14 only where it's been cloudy in both uh, Muskoka and Wyerton. And uh, there's that wind starting to turn now to the north. So for this afternoon, the maximum temperature will be about 21 in the GTA, Ottawa, and the sunny skies in Montreal. But as we go through the next couple of days, there are some changes ahead. And now it won't really impact the early weekend, but there's a risk of thunderstorms on Sunday. Details in just a few minutes. The STM has shut down. Well, Candace, uh, it's still a very nice weather pattern out there. Temperatures above 20. It happens for sure in October, but the fact that we've had several of these in a row uh, is what makes this special. 21 degrees this afternoon, but the clouds, well, they're in the process of moving in, and once they get here, they're going to stick around until sunset or maybe just before. We could actually get a sunset uh, in Toronto, especially the west end of the GTA. Uh, overnight tonight, completely clear and clear. Keep an eye in the north sky because we are anticipating a major geomagnetic storm and perhaps northern lights both tonight and tomorrow night that could rival uh, what we've seen at any point in this solar cycle. Big time geomagnetic storm. 19 degrees in Toronto. It's 17 right now in Quebec City and in Halifax. Still cool through the prairies, especially in Halifax. Halifax is not in the prairies. Uh, I was pointing at Calgary. I meant Calgary. Three degrees there, minus one in Whitehorse. So some chilly conditions out west. And uh, as we move ahead through the next couple of days, we're going to benefit from a weekend of mild weather and then some changes. So here is the front, the first front. That moves through without much fanfare this afternoon. Yes, there'll be some clouds but barely a sprinkle, if anything. The eastern townships get quite a bit of rain overnight tonight into very early Saturday morning as uh, the rest of us remain clear thanks to high pressure. And then on Sunday, this front is a little bit stronger, so more clouds and the risk of thunderstorms from Toronto through eastern Ontario. It's a quick mover, though, so already by 8 p.m. It's cleared through the province, uh, still bringing some rain to Montreal but uh, it'll turn cooler behind that second front. And you see it here, 21 Sunday, and then only 16 on Monday and Tuesday, 14 on Wednesday. So we're getting more into this fall pattern as we get later into next week. Overnight temperatures also dipping back near five or six degrees. So all the more reason to get out there and enjoy what should be a very nice weekend, especially the first half. Candace. Alrighty, thanks so much, Anthony, and thank you at home, as always, for tuning in. All right, time now for a look at the forecast. Let's check in with our chief meteorologist, Anthony Farnell. Hey, Anthony. It started off as such a nice sunny day, didn't it? Well, uh, changes have occurred, and this is the front that's moving through. We're still with a little bit of sun through eastern Ontario, but uh, that's about to change, not just because the sun is setting, but uh, because of the front that's moving through, and it is happening quickly. Now, I didn't think there'd be much in the way of shower activity, and there isn't, but there definitely is some rain out there, and our models didn't pick up on the extent of this. Anywhere from a trace to two or three millimeters, but as I mentioned, it's moving through quick. The wind flow behind it is from the northwest, so there is the threat tonight of frost, and we do have some advisories 
back through parts of central Ontario uh, into the Stratford area, Kincardine, uh, 18 currently in Toronto, and we're not going to see below freezing temperatures in the GTA, but it is going to clear out. There may be some northern lights tonight and especially tomorrow night, so just keep an eye in the north sky and uh, high pressure is just what you want to see when there is that possibility. This boundary here, that'll be our next front. It comes through on Sunday. More on that ahead. Eight degrees for a low tonight here in Toronto and in Kingston and Ottawa. Three in Muskoka. Tomorrow we warm back up. The sun is out. Your Sunday forecast a little bit later. Time now for our first look at the forecast. For that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bedore. Kaylee. Thanks, Carrie. Another nice day around the region, though that cloud cover has started to push into the viewing region and will continue at least for tonight. But clearing out later overnight into tomorrow, and we have plenty of sunshine on the way for Saturday. But keep in mind still some lingering showers possible this evening and a little bit of light rain as well. But things do clear by tomorrow morning. We'll start the day in the upper single digits for Kingston area. Some areas could stay in the double digits, but for the most part, it will be at about eight, nine degrees. And then temperatures do climb back into the upper teens. It's going to be a beautiful day. Of course, we did have that cold front coming through and it continues to push east as it does. Cloud, a little bit of wet weather, nothing too substantial when it comes to totals. However, by Sunday, we could be seeing some heavier pockets of rain. Even risk of thunderstorm there as well, so enjoy some of the sunshine that Saturday has to offer. A bit of a north wind through the afternoon. More coming up. For now, that's a first look at your weather. First weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. Today is a big day. Matters is brought to you by Kingston Community Credit Union. Align your money with your values. Visit kccu.ca. Time now for a full look at your forecast. It was another nice day around the region today. Those temperatures still above seasonal into the 20s and some sunshine at least for the first part of the day, though cloud cover has been increasing from west to east and continues through this evening overnight and into tomorrow. Also a little bit of wet weather still expected. So chance of showers does linger tonight, a little bit of light rain, but it does start to clear. So it is going to be brief when it comes to that rain or precipitation and even the cloud, we will see that clearing eventually. So there's that front making its way across the region and as it pushes east, things do start to clear. Tomorrow is going to be more of a fall feel, maybe not quite as warm, but still a gorgeous day. Temperatures in the upper teens, we've got plenty of sun on the way as well. Now we touched on this briefly last night, but uh, we did mention that there has been some solar activity. So potential once again tonight that the northern lights are visible a little bit farther south than usual as we see some clearing. So if we see clearing in time, there's a chance you could catch a glimpse of that across southern Ontario. So keeping that in mind, uh, Saturday some sun and that's what we're eyeing for Sunday, making its way to eastern Ontario by the evening. So Prince Edward County around that 5 p.m., 5.30 point and to Kingston by 6.30. Chance that we see some rain downpours, heavier pockets of rain and even thunderstorms, but it does start to ease a little bit as it heads east. So at least a bit of wet weather by late day Sunday. But in the most part, this weekend not looking too bad. Keep in mind next weekend or next week rather is trending a little bit cooler. So soak in those conditions tomorrow uh, before the temperatures do start to fall. For tonight, temperatures sliding to about eight degrees in Kingston, Gananoque nine, nine for Brockville, South Frontenac, eight degrees as well. We'll start the day there tomorrow and then make our way back up. 19 degrees in Belleville, 18 for Kingston, Brockville, 19, Smith Falls, 19. A gorgeous day. Plenty of sun for tomorrow. There's that rainfall possible on Sunday. Notice temperatures there still in the 20 degree range, but then takes on more of a seasonal feel for next week, mid-teens through the afternoons, and then by the overnights, get more of a seasonal low as well. Four degrees, five degrees through midweek, but plenty of sun as well. That's a look at your forecast. Time now for our first look at the forecast. For that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bedore. Kaylee. 
Thanks, Carrie. Another nice day around the region, though that cloud cover has started to push into the viewing region and will continue at least for tonight. But clearing out later overnight into tomorrow, and we have plenty of sunshine on the way for Saturday. But keep in mind, still some lingering showers possible this evening and a little bit of light rain as well. But things do clear by tomorrow morning. We'll start the day in the upper single digits for Kingston area. Some areas could stay in the double digits, but for the most part, it will be at about eight, nine degrees. And then temperatures do climb back into the upper teens. It's going to be a beautiful day. Of course, we did have that cold front coming through and it continues to push east as it does. Cloud, a little bit of wet weather, nothing too substantial when it comes to totals. However, by Sunday, we could be seeing some heavier pockets of rain. Even risk of thunderstorm there as well, so enjoy some of the sunshine that Saturday has to offer. A bit of a north wind through the afternoon. More coming up for now. That's a first look at your weather. First weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. After having. Matters is brought to you by Kingston Community Credit Union. Align your money with your values. Visit kccu.ca. Time now for a full look at your forecast. It was another nice day around the region today. Those temperatures still above seasonal into the 20s and some sunshine at least for the first part of the day, though cloud cover has been increasing from west to east and continues through this evening overnight and into tomorrow. Also, a little bit of wet weather still expected, so chance of showers does linger tonight. A little bit of light rain, but it does start to clear, so it is going to be brief when it comes to that rain or precipitation and even the cloud we will see that clearing eventually so there's that front making its way across the region and as it pushes east things do start to clear tomorrow is going to be more of a fall feel maybe not quite as warm but still a gorgeous day temperatures in the upper teens we've got plenty of sun on the way as well. Now, we touched on this briefly last night, but uh, we did mention that there has been some solar activity. So, potential once again tonight that the northern lights are visible a little bit farther south than usual as we see some clearing. So, if we see clearing in time, there's a chance you could catch a glimpse of that across southern Ontario. So, keeping that in mind, uh, Saturday some sun, and that's what we're eyeing for Sunday, making its way to eastern Ontario by the evening. So, Prince Edward County around that 5 p.m., 5.30 point, and to Kingston by 6.30. Chance that we see some rain, downpours, heavier pockets of rain, and even thunderstorms. But it does start to ease a little bit as it heads east. So at least a bit of wet weather by late day Sunday. But in the most part, this weekend not looking too bad. Keep in mind next weekend, or next week rather, is trending a little bit cooler. So soak in those conditions tomorrow. Uh, before the temperatures do start to fall. For tonight, temperatures sliding to about 8 degrees in Kingston, Gananoque 9, 9 for Brockville, South Frontenac, 8 degrees as well. We'll start the day there tomorrow and then make our way back up. 19 degrees in Belleville, 18 for Kingston, Brockville 19, Smith Falls 19. A gorgeous day. Plenty of sun. For tomorrow. There's that rainfall possible on Sunday. Notice temperatures there still in the 20 degree range, but then takes on more of a seasonal feel for next week, mid teens through the afternoons, and then by the overnights, get more of a seasonal low as well, four degrees, five degrees through midweek, but plenty of sun as well. That's a look at your forecast. <laughs> Time now for our first look at the forecast. For that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bedore. Kaylee. Well, a pretty nice day around the region today, especially this morning. We had that sun, however, through this evening, increasing clouds, some wet weather pushing through. But by tomorrow, mainly sunny skies once again. Temperatures maybe not quite as mild through the day Saturday, but we are expecting still to be into the upper teens, so above seasonal conditions once again for tomorrow. Sunday, storm threat moves through later in the day, but the weekend overall not looking so bad. So that's what we are watching. North wind tomorrow can more of a fresh feel, but it is going to be a beautiful fall day to start the weekend. Here's a look at where we're headed tonight. Can that rain starting to clear from west to east? Some fog, though, possible through the overnights. Temperatures remain into the upper single digits. Kingston, 8. Prince Edward County, 7 degrees, 9 toward Gananoque. So it is going to be a Fairly seasonal overnight, not too bad there. Then temperatures and conditions clear for tomorrow. More on what's in store for the rest of the weekend coming up. For now, that's a first look at your forecast. 
First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. After having their four... Well, time now for a full look at your forecast. A beautiful day today, especially for the first part of the day. Some increasing cloud this evening and some wet weather still lingering in parts of the View Inc. region, though it is pushing east along that cold front. Some cloud cover associated with that, a bit of rain, and for tomorrow, more sunshine is on the way. 22 degrees for Ottawa today. It was 21 in Toronto, so still those temperatures well above seasonal, similar right around our viewing area also. So daytime highs well above what we would expect to be upper teens, low 20s. Tomorrow it is going to be a little bit more fresh in the air. Southwest winds still coming into play. That's starting to shift, and tomorrow more of a northerly flow for Kingston area, and that cooler air does start to sink in. It is going to feel a little bit more like fall. However, the daytime highs will still remain above at least a few degrees, what we would typically have for October. Next week, though, it does take a return, and fall will be back in the forecast. Conditions overnight do continue to clear, mainly sunny by tomorrow afternoon and through the evening as well. Something else to point out. I know we mentioned this earlier today and last night, but there is another chance this evening and tomorrow that those northern lights could be seen at some of the northern lat or the uh, more southern areas. So keep that in mind uh, over the weekend as well. But things are looking good for Saturday. It's Sunday through the late afternoon and into the early evening where another hit of wet weather is possible along with thunderstorm risk. So we'll be following that to cap off the weekend. But for now, some of this rain clearing out and we're left with temperatures hovering in the upper single digits. Gananoque 9 tonight, Prince Edward County 7 degrees 8 in Kingston. Daytime highs tomorrow and it is looking like a gorgeous day. Sunshine Maybe a little bit of cloud early on, but that even starts to dissipate. Prince Edward County potential. We're into the upper teens, maybe hitting a 20 degree through the afternoon. Kingston 18, Brockville 19. Similar conditions around the map. It is going to be a gorgeous day. Sunday, as I mentioned, increasing cloud later in the day. Chance that we see some of that rain through the late afternoon and into the evening. 20 degrees for the high, so those temperatures remain quite mild over the next couple of days. It's next week where we do take a return to seasonal, a little bit below, and we'll hang out in the mid-teens. But we do have plenty of sun next week as well. That's a full look at your weather.